This tutorial explains how to combine a list of vectors into a single vector using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the list that we can create with lines one to three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new list object is appearing, which is called my list. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line four of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that our list contains three list elements. And each of these list elements contains numeric values. So let's assume that we want to combine all these list elements into a single vector object. Then we can apply the code that you can see in line six. So in this line of code, I'm using the unlist function and I'm applying this function to our list object, which is called my list. And then I'm storing the output of the unlist function in a new data object, which is called my mac one So if you run line six of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new vector object is appearing, which is called my mac one And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line seven of the code. And then you can see that our vector object my mac one contains exactly the same values as our list object. However, you can also see that this time we have created a vector instead of a list. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the unlist function to create a vector instead of a list. However, it's also possible to use the reduce function in combination with the C function, as you can see in line nine of the code to create such a vector. So within the reduce function, we first need to specify the C function then we need to specify a comma and then we need to specify the name of our list object. So in this case, our list object is called my list. And then once again, we are storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called my back two. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that another vector object is appearing, which is called my back two. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created exactly the same output vector as in the previous example. However, this time we have used the reduce and C functions instead of the unlist function. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.